nitrogen management in rice using the leaf color chart or LCC. Leaf color is generally used by farmers as an indicator of a rice crop's need for nitrogen fertilizer. When the leaves are pale or yellowish green rather than dark green, farmers believe the plants need more nitrogen. There is a simple tool which can help farmers determine when to apply nitrogen fertilizer to the rice crop. The tool is called the leaf color chart or the LCC. The LCC, which was developed from a Japanese prototype, can help measure leaf greenness, an indicator of a crop's need for nitrogen. A leaf color chart is easy to use, very affordable, and costs about a dollar. The LCC consists of six green color shades, from light yellowish green, which is number one, to dark green, which is number six on the chart. The guidelines for using the leaf color chart are Select the youngest, fully expanded, healthy leaf on a single plant for leaf color measurement. The color of this particular leaf is highly related to the nitrogen status of the rice plant. Measure the color of this leaf by placing its middle part on top of a color strip for comparison. Do not detach or destroy the leaf. Leaf color reading is affected by the sun's angle and sunlight intensity. Therefore, during measurement, use your body to shield the leaf from the sunlight when comparing the color. If the color of a rice leaf seems to fall between two color shades, take the mean of the two values as the reading. For example, if the color of a rice leaf lies between number 3 and number 4, the reading noted should be 3.5. Be sure to select plants in the field where the plant population is uniform. From each field, take readings of 10 leaves from 10 randomly selected plants, which represent the planted area. If more than 5 leaves show readings below the critical value, top dress nitrogen immediately to correct nitrogen deficiency in the rice crop. The leaf color chart readings are normally taken once every 7 to 10 days, starting at 14 days after transplanting for transplanted rice or 21 days after seeding for direct wet seeded rice. Continue taking readings at 7 to 10 day intervals until the first flower appears. If possible, the same person should take leaf color measurements throughout the growth period. The critical leaf color readings for nitrogen top dressing may range from 3 to 5 for different varieties. For example, the critical value may be 3 for varieties such as aromatic rice with light green leaves, 4 for semi-dwarf indica varieties, and 5 for those varieties with dark green leaves like hybrids. The leaf color scores also change with the methods of rice planting. For the majority of commonly grown semi-dwarf varieties, a critical reading of 3 for wet seeded rice and 4 for transplanted rice is suggested. If more than 5 out of 10 leaves show readings below the critical value, apply nitrogen fertilizer immediately to correct the nitrogen deficiency in the rice crop. The amount of nitrogen fertilizer to be applied each time the leaf color score falls below the critical value is 78 kg urea per hectare for dry season and 50 kg urea per hectare for wet season. It has been shown that the LCC can help determine when to apply nitrogen fertilizer to the rice plant. A review of the guidelines in using the leaf color chart or LCC may be helpful. Select the youngest fully expanded healthy leaf of a single plant for leaf color measurement. Measure the color of this leaf by placing its middle part on top of a color strip for comparison. Do not detach or destroy the leaf. During measurement, the leaf being measured should be shielded from the sun with your body. If the color of a rice leaf falls between two color shades, take the mean of the two values as the reading. Select plants in a field where the population is uniform. 
take the LCC readings once every 7 to 10 days, starting at 14 days after transplanting for transplanted rice, or 21 days after sowing for direct wet seeded rice. Continue taking readings at 7 to 10 day intervals until the first flower appears. If possible, the same person should take leaf color measurements throughout the growth period. If more than five leaves show readings below the critical value, apply nitrogen fertilizer immediately to correct nitrogen deficiency in the rice crop. By following these guidelines for using the leaf color chart, the LCC is a useful and productive tool for determining when to add nitrogen fertilizer to the rice crop.